As you can see, this is After Effects that we're in. I saved this project. Now let's drop in a sequence. This is um, the date, 5D SR is to shoot. This is the shot, CD close, SR, just to show that it's got the, the big resolution. And then it's raw. In this folder, you'll see it's got the raw files and the XMP metadata that I saved from Lightroom because I graded the photos and then I uh, saved the settings. Now I'm just dragging that in here and then After Effects is going to bring up the uh, camera raw dialog. This has all the color corrections that I added set up. So I import that. Okay. New composition. I'm, I, I'm so used to doing this. I drag that into a folder and I rename that. Shortcuts on the keyboard to rename these and then I create a new comp. Let's fit this in the frame and have a look at these composition settings. Uh, so yeah, that's the size. Let's um, create an 8K video file. 8K film resolution, FUHD is 7680, 7680 times 4320. Okay, and then as you can see here, this is the full file size of the um, 5D SR sequence and this is the FUHD uh, size so we still have some room to play with um, zooming in and out zooming out so what you get is about 88 nope it's 89 percent of the scale and then you'll fit that in there um, I'm just gonna export this as an 8k file and see how long it takes let's save the project drop it in the render queue let's create a ProRes file then save that in the appropriate uh, folder, render full res, <laughs> render. As you can see, I've got HD 4K full res for my previous 5D shoots, which is uh, I think 5.5K approximately. So now I'll be making the even higher ones, which is a 4K render, but let's drop that in the full res folder for now. Save, and off we go. Okay, this file has finished rendering. Uh, we can see here the size and then how long it took. Uh, render time, 22 minutes and 59 seconds. As I mentioned before, this usually takes 10 to 12 minutes for 140 raw files to a ProRes uh, file. Now that's, um, yeah, to be expected of course with larger file sizes. Um, I copied it from the external drive to my internal SSD drive because obviously from the external drive it will never play. And here's the file. As you can see, 1.85 gigabits per second current size. Yeah, about one fourth or one third of the actual size. This is a 5K screen. It's the iMac 5K. Um, I'd love to see this on an 8K screen, of course. Um, but I have noticed that it needs a bit of stabilization. Um, actually, it's quite all right if it starts playing. I can actually see more detail in this shot because of the, uh, as opposed to a f normal 4K file, because this screen is, uh, like I said, a 5K one and not just a 4K. So this is great. I can't wait to start shooting more. I do need to buy some larger um, memory cards. I'm shooting on 64 gigs now. I'll be looking at the 120 or the 256 probably um, to comfortably shoot, you know, a number of large sequences uh, without having to swap cards around or to offload footage. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to send them to me via the comments. That way other people can, um, you know, see what questions have been asked already. And yeah, any suggestions for future videos, let me know. Um, and yeah, consider subscribing or sharing this video or do whatever you want, really. But yeah, I'd like to thank you again for watching and see you on the next one.